Like the way those soldiers watch me. I find it flattering. Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I am ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd! What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga. In England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon. Other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. There's nothing for me here. I must go make my name in the world. And you have plundered Fornberg's resources, I see. You leave nothing behind but your honor. You left me no choice. I entered the Alving a prince. I left the son of a Jarl. There are always choices, Sigurd. I will not stand between you and yours, but I do not accept it. <sighs> Seventeen winters ago, I opened my door to you, Eivor. And now, your only thanks is to rob me? I should have left you to the wolves. Sad old elk. Do not carry his words with you to England. He brought this day upon himself. I know. Put some muscle into those pools! Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar Sigurd! established the settlement near the coast. He set sail to them. Bragi, sing a song to lift our hood. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from... Or ...to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor, and on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia, a temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! Or Valhalla!
researcher at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sirka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening, and if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sirka went on to say... Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. Oof. I'd rather walk into town than use this. Some quality stuff here. Did you get my tea? Oof, mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well... Most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. You gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Sean has been busy. Hello, Layla. Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot in North America. Apart from that, it's just a bunch of muddy bones, isn't it? Can we talk about this thing on my neck for a second? Ah, the mood stabilizer. Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good. I want to make sure there's no side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals, a passive effect. So the staff doesn't, you know, mess with you. Sean, what happened last year? 
I had no control over that. I, I tried to resist. I understand. And your old team? Maybe they don't. But we've seen that sort of thing before. Still, if you want to work with us and get to the bottom of why the world is about to end for the second time in eight years, then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. William's orders. I know. It's not a problem. It's just a few more weeks, yeah? Just until we figure this out. You're right. I know you're right. You mind if I put some music on? Go for it. Cool. Quite nice. Soothing. Let's have a look.
No, come on, Sean. Turn that thing off. Oh, hold on. I like what you said there. I want to get this for posterity. Say it again, nice and loud. Uh, seriously? Sure, come on. If nothing else, it'll give me leverage with your old man. Ah, that's your angle. Nice. <sighs> what I said was, I wish I hadn't been born into the Assassins. I wish I had chosen this life. Is that good enough? Sure, but why is that? Because, because choice is the central idea of our creed. It underpins everything, right? It's about free will. It's about seeing the evidence before you and saying, yes, this is what I want, or no, this isn't for me. But when you're born into a group like this or any other, like I was, you get mixed signals. You get told over and over again, this is what we believe. These are the rules. This is reality, no deviation. And if you question it, oh, they look at you like you, like you killed a puppy. That's hardly free will. It's a weird irony when free will is your central belief, but nobody wants you to believe otherwise. I don't know how to say it exactly, but I always thought there was something self-destructive about our creed. If free will is the most important moral guidepost we have, we should be free to ignore it, to choose submission, for example. You know what I mean? Like... We should be free to side with the Templars. If it's really my choice, I could do that. Right. It's almost self-refuting. A democracy could democratically elect a dictator or choose to get rid of democracy altogether. Within our creed is the seed of its own destruction. That's what makes it powerful, I think. And fragile. Right, right. The more freedom you have, the more risky it is, you know? Anyway... My dad has mellowed over the years, but he was strict when we lived on the farm. He ran a tight ship. I never got the impression that I was free to choose my path forward. Our creed, our tenets, they were drilled into my head. By the time I was a teenager, I was following these rules out of a sense of duty. This was just what we did. That happens to a lot of organizations over time. The stagnation sets in, you know? The fundamentalism. Yeah. Following the rules becomes more important than achieving whatever goal you set out for yourself. And people start to lose sight of the reason the rules exist. That's called deontology, or a form of it. Following a rule for its own sake, and not for the consequences it has. Yeah, but that feels backwards, doesn't it? Well, I think so. Following a rule is the easy part. Praying, taking a sip of wine, munching on a wafer. Rituals that give comfort. But that's just going through the motions. It makes people feel like, like they're doing something. When the hard work is, well, actually getting off your ass and doing something productive. I think people just want boundaries. Tight boundaries. They want to see the four walls that pen them in. I don't disagree. Anything outside that? Anything that makes life more complex? That's scary. That's why I envy you. You chose this life. You went through that process, and you decided, yes, I believe in this. Sure. It didn't stop me from being an insufferable know-it-all as a teenager, but I see your point. I would have loved to have been a know-it-all. I knew nothing. Not until you guys found me. Yeah. It wasn't until I met you and Bex and Lucy that I knew. I knew I wanted to be an assassin. Oh, thanks, Des. Come here. Bring it in, bud. I don't normally like touching, but... I'll make an exception now. <laughs> I am not hugging you. You sure? Because I smell very nice today. Can you just turn that off? Layla, thought you might be interested in this. Conversations that Bex and I had with Desmond back in 2012. Um, December, I think. Just, uh, candid talks, that's all. We didn't square any circles or write any beat poetry. But he did have some interesting insights into his time in the Animus and what it means to be an assassin. Anyway, have a listen. You might find you and he had similar experiences. So, uh, well, let me know what you think. Unless it's to tell me I sound like a total brat in these recordings. If that's the case, just say nothing. I mean, I did have a slight cold at the time I recorded these. That's probably why I sound odd. Anyway, I, 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 okay, I'm done anyway. So turn off. Turn off.
Turn off. Oh, it's actually just a button. Sorry, here we go. Hold on, I'll just set this here. Do you guys record everything we talk about? Not everything. But you've been using the Animus so much, I thought this was a good chance to learn some things about prolonged exposure. So I'm your guinea pig? No, no, my guinea pigs are all dead. The Animus was too much for them to handle. Cute. Can I ask you about the bleeding effect? Any recent flashes? Any memories resurfacing? Yeah, the usual things. Ghost images of Altair and Ezio a few times a day. Nothing intrusive, just brief moments. They pass quickly, almost without me noticing. Like a figure in the corner of my eye. Or remembering a dream from the night before. I did have one extended hallucination a few days ago. It was Ezio. He was older, around the time he left Cappadocia. He was standing on the deck of a ship, alone. And through him, I could feel an intense... regret. Or guilt. And it felt to me like he'd had a... a loss of faith. In himself, in the creed. Like he couldn't keep it up. Couldn't stay true to his ideals. And as I watched him, I thought... Is this the moment he decided he was done being an assassin? It felt like it. Anyway, most of my visions have been brief. Lasting just a few seconds. They're like... Complete memories of small moments that appear suddenly out of nowhere. Fully formed. It's a strange feeling. Okay. Anything else? I'm starting to see Connor now, too. Though I hear his voice more often than I see him. I'm sure that will change. Oh, yeah, and yesterday, just before bed, I had a memory of being on a beach in the Caribbean with a bunch of sailors. Or maybe they were pirates. I don't know. No idea. Huh. We'll look into that. And how do you feel in general? In general? Well, I feel older, for one. Much older. And it's strangely comforting. I'm collecting the memories and skills and thoughts of so many people I feel like I've lived a few hundred years or more. Is it possible that if I do this for too long, it'll push my own memories aside? That I'll be everyone but myself after a while? It's possible. That's called identity substitution. It's happened before, but it's rare. And someone with your background shouldn't need to worry. My background? You mean someone with my genes? My abilities? You have ESU DNA. And that lets you see things and do things and withstand traumas that other people can't. And I can suffer in ways that others can't. That's not something to be proud of. You mean the apple? Yeah. It has a pull, Bex. It tugs at my brain. It talks to me. Teases me. Drives me mad. And what I did to Lucy. God damn it. Nothing is worth the damage I did. The pain I caused. I know. But you're special. That's the point. I'm not special, Bex. I'm lucky. That's all. I understand. We're assassins. It's our creed that makes us different, not our genes, not our blood. Anyone can join us. That's true. But let's leave that aside for a second. What I want to know is, have you ever had any Isu memories resurface? Isu memories? I don't... don't think so. I... I can't even begin to imagine what that would feel like. I think you'd know if you did. Maybe one day, we might be able to induce something. Jesus, let's fix the world first, okay? Before we start digging up my ancient ancestors. Deal. With my luck, I'll be related to some third-rate Isu like... like Sisyphus or something. <laughs> Way to aim high, buddy. <laughs> hey, you gotta... I went through hell to bring you here. It had better be worth it. Feeling okay? Better. But I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It felt like two minds fighting over one brain. 
It hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels dense, noisy. Could it be the staff? Interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. Be nice to sleep in a real bed when this is over. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla? You okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and... No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the Earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all. Death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. this land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all. I will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. The Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy, take in your oars, all standing. Have you spotted something? Not yet. Well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Sail on. Yes. I'm ready for whatever these green-thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not. But they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No. No. We will speak with them. Get the lay of the land. And carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead the...
passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them. Like our sacrifices to Odin the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference. Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off! Look there! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism, Dad. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always! They shape precious metals and cut jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dad. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. Do you see, Sunan? The gods here are vigilant. It appears. I might be able to shoot it.
the path is clear. James, away! Everyone, back to the boat! We should be close now, barring any more surprises. Those dogs are good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dad. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and the ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Eva Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. Have no worry. Oh, I can see it now. Suckling pig, tender and juicy. And the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of symbol pleasures, aren't you, Dad? And he is happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be remade? We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. Ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something is right. Good eye. There is too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find? No. Let us get a closer look. Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, lest they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a yard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all together. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor! Hey! On me! <laughs> oh, what's this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways. You there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten Norsemen with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakrout, and draw your weapon. Oh! Let's finish them! Kill these heathen bastards! You have to wait for a for you. Remember Draki's double thrust? Oh, shit.
lump or two! You. I want no more surprises. Right. I right. I will check the longhouse. Sigurd, Dag, in here. Those men had prisoners. Eivor, look at this. Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did. Till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest bidder. But I ripped their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the sons of Ragnar, at Halstan Jarl's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the sons of Ragnar? I sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me. But it won't be easy. 
Every town and village needs a stable to keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again, somewhere. What are you thinking? We could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Doug? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg, son of Stilbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers into friends into family. The others have arrived. Come. I have a good feeling about this place. Oh, honored family, friends. Welcome to your new home. Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Ranvi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of ravens. I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build, expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. And what else have you found? Short notes, mostly. Scraps of...
It took some time to decipher the mess and... Not a bad place, Eivor. Not at all. Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How oh, I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you're the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the oar of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I've found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes, bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you. And put it to better use than they did. Your ears and listen all. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking. Today we raid, and tomorrow we may build. At last! We will crack these Christian monasteries like a row of hen's eggs! The Saxons know we are here, though. The monasteries will be well guarded. Ah! By nothing more than priests and prayers, I'd wager! up from there. Eivor, look there. A monster. I stand... Oh! 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 I stand ready. Only say the word. We read!
help me out here. Help me with Thank this! You. Ah! Uh. 
Monster. I stand ready. Only say the word. Come here! Wait 
Turn home and unload everything. Are you certain there aren't a few more gold nuggets squirreled away somewhere? My gut tells me no. Ha! <laughs> 
your count my count death i have no need to count my kills they number too many likely story wolf kissed me i killed 26 i think nah, there were barely a dozen when we arrived dog. no no you missed them they attacked from the forest
Shall we raise the sail over? I need your eyes, my friend. Hey, calm down. We need to row our way out. More sail! Strike up a tune. Sail empty! Can't speed, raise the sail! Sail empty! That's the wind! Wonderful labor. A forge bigger and harder than my old forge back in Fornberg. Come visit me anytime. For weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. I will, Gunnar. Have no doubt. <laughs> Ha 
Hello, and well met. May I see your stores? I'll see you later, friend. Until next we meet. Hytham, now that you and Bassam are settled, what will you do? We have work to do. Starting in the cities of England. London, Jorvik, Winchester. All three are infested by members of the same order to which Kyotve belong. But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kyotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones, to liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one. But with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. What is it you do here again? If you need something tattooed, you come here and I do it. And you can bring me whatever designs you come upon too. But of course, no shop, no tattoos. Build something for us when you can, and then we'll get working. I have to go. See you soon. I like See you later, Hefor. Eivor, in here! What will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well, but I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on the wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together, as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. messages and requests. Bed better than many I have slept in, and a good place to recover. Hmm, not much, but it is mine.
inside at a moment's notice. Count on it, my friend. The path ahead is bright. With glory at its end. What was that about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Leicestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randy. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd, for I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dag. You belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from a louse. Eivor, my stable is... If you can build me something better, I promise you the finest of beasts. A bustling stable would be a great boon here. I'll see what I can do. wanted to see me. As Sigurd has so ordered, it falls to us to expand our presence in England. He wants to forge alliances, ironclad, with every Norse, Dane, and Saxon here. Right. We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where do we start? My scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings, and I'm beginning to get my bearings in this fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leicestershire to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. I should add, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with his own contacts in the cities. His research could be useful in winning us alliances throughout the cities of England. Speak with him and see what he needs. I want to see the alliance map. Tell me more about Leicestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton, to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current king of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should.
Tell me about Grandebridgeshire. A force of Danes, called a summer army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grandebridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. Tell me more about Lederchestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton, to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current King of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent. Greetings. I've been here all day. We need a place to work. This will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranvi about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? I will. Lead on. I hear a heaviness to your breathing, Hytham. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy, then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You risk your health and your life to please Basim. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. Are you well enough to steer this boat? I am. Have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. What is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. No riddles. What fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. 
It is a way of living. Still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. Then I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our Brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds, steadies our hands, and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements, in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we're climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again, the shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me off this cliff. Is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? To perform the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Wait! And watch! Hide them! Hide them! Pig-headed fool! Are you injured? You see! My faith grew stronger than my fear! And that loam cushioned your fall! Eivor! I have not seen this side of you before! Do not feed your fear! Conquer it! <sighs> I've seen my death in a vision. It was not here. Not today. fall and how did it feel you spoke true it was madness and vicar a perching of fear a gift i give myself i see that now thank you for showing me the way of course and thank you eivor for hearing me out you called this leap of faith a sacred rite all hidden ones practice this same ritual as far as i know it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join. But that is not my purpose in England. Bassam and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague, one we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same, a land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan, then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless Jarls and bumbling Thanes. Yet look more closely, and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest merchants, from wealthy thanes to useless kings, the Order has corrupted all!
Bassam has given me one task here. To locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Ranvi about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Hytham. For all of this. Good to see you. <laughs> Looks like I have a new letter. Bjorn Bloodtooth. Berserkers make fierce foes, but powerful allies. His strength would bolster our settlement. I should seek him out. <laughs> Do the Swan Road. We can race the sail in these waters.
Cast about this land, my friend. Can't raise the sail yet.
the master! Wizard fletchings. Fitting feathers for a king slaying. Touch not that throne! It was blessed by a priest no as were the elves. Very, very lovely indeed. Fletchings. Fitting feathers for a king slaying. Tune in. Stretch your wings, Sunan.
Let's go. You must row in these waters. Sing, my ravens. Save it for later. Can't raise the sail yet. This wind would fill the sail. Show me what lies ahead.
Bloodshoe's cave should be close by. There. That must be Bjorn the Berserker. Sunen, guide me. A man who fights beside a great white bear. You are Bjorn Bloodtooth. Ask the dead. What do they tell you? They say, we do not want shapeshifters in these lands. They wished me dead. They are not the first. And you, come to make your name in battle. Another corpse at my door won't matter. I am not here to fight you, Bjorn. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. And I offer you a seat in our hall. I have no clan, and no need of another. You prefer to live alone here, with your bear? I prefer vengeance against the man who hung my wife and left her for the crows. Who is this man? A Mercian lord, whose name shall not sour my lips. He has scores of men, an army perhaps. But that will not stop me. Then let me help. If you truly wish to avenge your wife, you must not fall in battle. I shall think it over. Njal, go with my bear. Feel her belly. And if Njal trusts you, who knows? Maybe we do as you say. You are tame for so wild a beast. Is that so? Tell me, what does a bear like you eat? Whatever you want, huh? <laughs> Best you show me then. Bowl for making Berserker brew. Smells of piss and nightshade. The skulls say Bjorn carried you into battle when you were but a bear cub, raised you as one would raise a child. Your favorite flowers. They're not food, Njal. Reminds me of summer in Norway. We had fields like these near Hemminger's Hall. <laughs> I can see why Bjorn keeps you around. Fish you want. I can help with that. Fishing arrows. Now to catch something from y'all.
Do you want some fish, Njal? Here. Nothing better than fresh fish. Eat your fill, friend. Oh, God! Clear out of way! Not just this awaits, coward! Not too, brother. Nothing better than fresh fish. Eat your fill, friend. better than fresh fish. Eat your fill, friend.
Fresh fish. Eat your fill, friend. Some kind of trouble.
brother.
fight you! You try to kill me? Oh. Aim for the finish!
gonna die! No racing the sail here. Let We 
Drop them out! Liga era Geras. Need to roll. Sail. Catch the wind. Strike of the June. Sail in. Save it.
You're welcome.
away from us! Together! Fall before me! Die already! Where were you going?
brothers. Let's end it. Kind of thing.
Heads up flank! Going to smash you!
survey the area soon. In. Finn um dir gripar. And raise the sail here. Oh, <laughs> 
With me, here!
time is come. A strong war arm, Raven Shirt. These men did not come for the fame of defeating a legendary berserker. No. 
They were followers of the Mercian Lord. My blood enemy. My wife's killer. How did your wife die? Fame has two faces, Eivor of the Ravens. In Norway, many a young thane wanted the glory of killing me. They died. I grew tired of killing. Alfilder and I, we came here for a new start. A quiet life. But fame sailed ahead of you. This Mercian Lord learned of your deeds, sought to boost his own name with your blood. You have the right of it. Only he wanted me to drink the Berserker brew first. When I refused, he demanded. Offered gold, even taunted me. Then he... He hung her. Arfhilda. Your blood feud is just. If it is something you must do alone. No. Your words are wise. I do not want to die fighting. I want to die knowing my wife is avenged. I want to kill that man. Help me. Tell me what you need. Nightshade. It's the last bit of magic I need for my berserker brew. You shall have it. And when this is over, I trust the Raven Clan will have your axe. When you find the Nightshade, bring it to me beneath the gallows tree south of Beodorichwar. Nightshade often grows near graveyards, and Saxons build their graveyards near churches. Nightshade grows in graveyards. No shortage of those in Christian England. I would like to see what you have in stock. I do good work. I, I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Fight well, Eivor.
not see you, old friend. Nightshade has a distinct stench. Like this. That's enough, Nightshade. Foul smelling herb. I should meet Bjorn. Your 
your souls for ah! Your nightshade. Good. It has the power we need for the coming ritual. Nearly done. The skull say Odin hung himself on a tree much like this. He lived, though. Most die. Yggdrasil. The world tree. Odin's gallows. The place where life and death are one. Ride with me, Raven. The Sather awaits. Berserker brew hits hard. It may open your eyes to the spirit realm. It may turn you into a savage beast. Whatever happens, face it without fear. What do you fight for, you bear skins? Your wolf shuts you drinkers of blood. We fight for glory, we shield biters. 
wall breakers born in battle's flood! <laughs> I've been close to death many times, but this, this was different. Ugh, feels like a Jotun kicked my head in. Tis glorious, is it not? Berserker bro does not, does not agree with my belly. Ugh. But you live still. Can you feel the power of the bear's blood coursing through your veins? Yes. But you... you were a bear. And the bear power courses through me still! I'm ready. Where to? The Mercians who slew my wife cowered in Beodorchsworth. We shall kill them all! With me! No! Y'all will taste mercy and blood! Show me what you can do, Berserker!
Bjorn! Going to smash you!
Pickings. Better bring the crew.
If they see me, this won't get messy. Thank <laughs> you. 
to me! Nyan! Nyan! Zeus! Coward! To me! Nyan! Nyan! The Lord will see us prevail!
Christ! We have the advantage.
are mine! Thanks, they were.
Jorn, your enemy has fallen. You have your revenge. Yes. But now I fear I must ask you one last thing. Should you be willing? What is it? Njal is tired. I will tend to her beneath the tree where this all began. Please, bring us some of her favorite flowers. They look like... I know the ones. I'll gather them and meet you beneath the gallows tree. Stay strong, my child. Bjorn is here. I saw some of Njal's favorite flowers growing behind the gallows tree. My eyes. His wife's grave. No wonder he visits this tree often. Flowers from Jarl. Now to meet Björn beneath the gallows tree. I brought her here. Where it began. Where it ends. I understand.
They hung my wife in this tree, and buried her among its roots. A grim and undeserved fate. We took Njal in as a cub, she and I. No children of our own. Now both are gone. Yet I remain. Dear Njal, you were always at my side for the better years of my life. I must have done like this. We strive for fame and glory and good deeds. Naught else can we do. Yes. Even the gods will die. The Nornir stitch our dooms, and none may go against the threat. We are but single threads, and who knows what pattern they weave. Before, you asked if I would join your clan. I am ready. Good. There'll be a place for you on my longship and in my clan. I shall sing of Alfilda and Njal during our travels. Sing of their deeds. And I will carry their names into battle. When you're ready, follow the river Nene to my settlement. We shall welcome you as a brother. I will be the Berserker of the Raven Clan.
got some booty here. With the crew's help, we could get it back to the ship. <laughs> Give me a hand over here! Stay now! Lucky if you fit. Time has come for you.
to be rich pickings. Ready! Ready!
My sincere apologies. <laughs> This area is off limits. Thank <laughs> you. 
Show me. Secret should be here with the Ragnarsons. Are you Sigurd Drenger? Uh, Igor! Eivor. If you keep that up, we'll stain the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending spies! And now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. Hey! Good boy. You're free, Saxon piggy, to run amok through the Mercian fields. <laughs> I would have let him down easy. Hmm. Huh. Follow me. I'll give you the tour. What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Reptar. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we drove them out. You plunged your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to take the wax from your ears. Don't play me for a fool, Abba. I know Burgrind. I'm not going anywhere, Bakrat. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our Hexsilver horde. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. This is one of them. My worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Upa and Ivar here are hunting a king. And when we've caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Chell Wolf here. 
It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. Do you have what it takes to be king? One day, I hope. As it stands, we at least have an understanding. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jail Wolf means to change that. There'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole, only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, Remove Burgred and crown Shalewolf. Come morning, this Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes. Remove. I cannot stress that enough. Burgred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. But it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. Jailwolf betrayed his present king. Maybe tomorrow he betrays us too. Why trust him? How can I answer that with any hope that you'd believe me? I only want what is best for the people of Mercia. And I want what's best for my son. In Burgred's Mercia, where Danes and Saxons murder one another daily, it's not possible. This is a good plan, brother. I am ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! Oh, you never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come, if only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheowulf. We all stand to benefit, and you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. A lively town. Quite a lot to see here. Old Norran art for I already in Tamworth, and we've now got help from the south. It's our lot to look after this place now, to protect her. Shame. Wanted to see the look on Burgred's face when we stormed his fortress. Now we'll just hear big tales, told by drunken here. Southeast. Bring the men to the gates of Tamworth. We'll flood the fields, and Burgred shall weep at the sight of what the future holds for this kingdom. Eivor, is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the spear din. And the thunder of shields, yes. 
It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness. Hammered on the anvil of Lynn war. Does not need to fight to be Move! A... Move! Calm, Ivar. Our fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chilwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Can't be an heir if he's dead, Ivar. Can he wield a sword? I've had some training. I only... I don't want to kill anyone. These men are my friends. My countrymen. Relax, little king. They won't call you friend now. You can thank your father for that. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Ha <laughs> ha, you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. Mount up, Eivor. It's a long ride to Tamworth. You'll have to endure, my brother. He always finds new ways to humor himself. I'll keep that in mind. And both eyes open. You smell that, Tailbird? The stink of jealousy of our budding friendship, I think. Adventurer, need to know the lie of the land? Well worth a little silver, I assure you. No, thank you. Perhaps later. What is Jailwolf's son doing in Repton at all? Say from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought this Shire to help. Fears are with us, the common folk. But Burgred still has his soldiers all over Mercy. They're devoted to him, and they'll die defending him. different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. But not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. Mm. 
north of the Danelands, a place called Funberg, Norway. Now there was land north of there. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? Look at these pagan rats. Ravenous, unseemly beasts teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats outnumber us. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofrit? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's ex that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. Ha, I admire your ambition, pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has or ever will occupy Mercia's sacred throne. The Ragnar sons are the least of your worries, Burgrit. The Raven clan now sits upon your southern border. And who might you be? Eivor of the Raven clan, here with Sigurd Jarl. We are friends to these men, and foes to you. Well, you've chosen your friends poorly. Now that's to be expected of a low-born Dane. My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet, in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost. If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse. Man the walls! Back to the camp. Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight! Eivor, tell the captain we're ready to march. Ah, you Eivor and I will round up the men. You know your way around the battering back. I've seen them in action. I want you at the helm of ours. Strong and agile. I'll be there. As will I. Are you? I'm with the Regnesons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgred wanted a fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? I'm not yet ready. Do what you must, but return quickly. Our men are ready to move. <laughs> 